Welcome everyone, in this video we're going to create um, something that is kind of, um, that looks kind of old comic book, you know, with uh, text. So let me show you what I mean. So first of all, let's go to this type tool and type something. We're going to type Superman. Okay, so I'm using the font which is called Franklin Gothic Heavy. You can use any font that is heavy or bold, whatever. Okay, so once you do this, press enter and then go to the Superman text layer, right click and convert to shape. And now you go to this path selection tool and drag like this and select the S letter and we're gonna press ctrl t to transform this okay so this is what we're going to do we're going to make the s a bit bigger than the other letters and press enter now click on anywhere on the document to deselect okay that looks good now again um Press Ctrl T. There is a warp tool thing. Okay, you can, uh, you can switch warp mode here by clicking here, and then here you can see great. You can see warp. We're we're going to warp. So select one. We're going to select arch. So this is creating kind of arch. It's going too far, so we're not going to bend it much so you can see this bend option on the bend option we're going to decrease the amount of or degree of the bend uh, I think 22 is okay um, and then 22 let's see maybe 20 yeah 20 is okay and then this horizontal distortion we're gonna make it minus maybe minus 20 let's see minus 15 or let's see, minus 20 minus 20 is okay and press enter so we have created a kind of uh, warped warp text here we're gonna pull it uh, drag it and make it move it to the center okay so now what we're going to do is double click on the layer and the layer style is open um, we're going to choose bevel and emboss this creates kind of emboss effect um, we're not going too far if you see the depth it's a little too deep so we're not going to go that far and for size three is okay for soften you don't need to soften it just one pixel is okay and for shading 90 degree is okay we don't need to change it if you want to change you can change uh, but this style here we're not going to choose emboss but inner bevel okay that's what we're looking for and uh, yeah technique is smooth you don't need to do anything here click OK now what you can do is double click on the layer but not uh, the actual layer just the thumbnail of the layer double click and you can choose a grayish color gray color and that's that's what we're looking for and now we're gonna create a duplicate layer by pressing ctrl J okay now we're going to press Ctrl T and after that what we're going to do is we're going to move this um, copy layer um, one pixel left and one pixel up so on your keyboard press left key left arrow key once and up arrow key once and then press enter now we're done 
Now what you're going to do is right click on this copy layer um, and convert to smart object. You might not have to do that if uh, your computer works uh, with that. I mean my setting is something uh, I've done something like some setting I don't know. I've done something here which doesn't allow me to do this thing without converting to smart object so I'm converting it to smart object so after that what you're going to do is hold control alt and shift key and press T keep pressing and I think that's enough or maybe a little more okay so after that Go all the way down, hold the shift key and click on the first text layer. And then we're going to layer menu here and arrange and reverse. So we have reversed the effect. Now press control key and go all the way to the top layer and click on the top layer. So that means we have selected all the layers, all the text layers, except the first, except the top layer, okay? So now right click and merge layers, okay? So we have created uh, this kind of thing where there are only two layers uh, excluding background. So on the the copy layer which is below the top layer double click and color overlay choose color overlay we're going to choose red okay and click OK and the blend mode should be on overlay okay click OK and now what we're going to do is go to this original text text layer, double click. Um, we're going to choose stroke. Okay, stroke would be around three pixel. Okay, and oh. I forgot one thing. Let's go to this layer again. Double click and go to this bevel and emboss and remove the bevel and emboss from this layer. Okay. And again, double click on the thumbnail of this layer and we're going to choose yellow. Okay. Now we can also go to the copy layer and uh, double click here and choose stroke and choose three pixels for this store stroke okay and i forgot to tell you that stroke should be black okay if it's not black choose black color from this option so now we have done pretty good work till now so now the first this top layer which is yellow text uh we don't have much to do with this so we're going to go to the layer below and choose that layer and then go to this adjustment layer we're going to choose um levels and it opens this level setting so we we see this three points here so we have this I don't know what we call it slider or something so choose the left one and drag it to the right side and choose the middle one and drag it to the left maybe to the right okay, to the right is okay okay so that's what we want right now okay
that much is good. So that's what we are looking for. And I have forgotten one thing. I have added the level adjustment layer, but I haven't like uh, connected this to the Superman copy layer. To connect this, just hold Alt key and click between the adjustment layer and the the copy Superman copy layer. Click and now it looks different because it has uh, effect, uh, affected only the text, not the background. So now again we have to adjust this. So. Just uh, it's, it's it's kind of trial and error. You don't have like specific number here, so I think that's that's what we are looking for. Okay, that's pretty much. And what else we need? I don't need. I don't think we need anything now. Um, if you want, you can just add, but no, it's okay. I think that's fine. Now, what, what we're going to do is go to background layer and go to this color palette, or what we call it, color, color picker, and um, choose a blue color here, okay? And Press Alt and Backspace to fill the background layer. So now we have a pretty good text and background. So we are actually good with it, but we can do more. So go to the top layer and press Control, Alt, Shift, and E. So this creates a new layer which has all the layer merged together. So after this new layer is created, just right click on the layer and convert it to smart object. Once you do that, just go to filter and filter gallery. And now we have this uh, distort option. And in distort, we have diffuse glow so we can adjust this thing here, the amount of diffuse glow. Let's go to grainness and adjust it. Uh, around eight is okay. Um, let's go to glow amount. Um, Round four is okay, I think. Clear amount. We don't need this white, you know, bright thing. So let's go to 16 or, yeah, 17, even 18. Okay. 18 and glow amount to maybe three. Okay. Click OK. We have created a kind of old comic book effect. We can do it even better by going to filter again, filter gallery, artistic and film grain. So um, now let's choose grain and let's see if we need more grain. Uh, we don't need much grain. Maybe four is uh, four is too much. Maybe three. Let's go to highlight area and let's bring it to maybe eight. And intensity to maybe just one. Highlight. Highlight to maybe four and grain to. Just two. Click OK. OK. Now I think we are good. 
So we have created this um, thing which looks like old comic book. You can do more with it, but I think this looks good enough for this tutorial. So if you like this tutorial, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment below. And if you haven't done yet, subscribe to this channel, okay? Thanks for watching.